if you only knew the power of the dark side. Welcome back to the channel, it's the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McCloud. Now, here I am once again, for all the fanboys out there who are triggered beyond belief. <laughs> Listen, I know you kids are, uh, are overly distraught by the armada of Alpha Destiny videos I've been exposing over the past month. I mean, the kid set himself up with his naturally enhanced program. Come on now. We've all come to the conclusion that there seems to be some extracurricular activities going on when it comes to his um, gains that I actually haven't even seen. But to get himself from where he was, that skinny twig, to the, you know, the um, physique he has now, I'll say that. Because according to Eric Boogerman, uh, you know, Alpha Destiny's five foot five with baby hands, and as you can see, well, I'm Eric may be correct in that assumption. Now, I do want to say this. I've been telling you guys for the longest that these fraud type people in the fitness industry, they come bearing claims with delusions of grandeur that all these things can be accomplished because their program just has to be this amazing program that's going to do all these things for you and don't worry that 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 thousand dollars you may be shelling out it's all worth it in the end it's all worth it so give me the money I'll take it please trust me You'll look like me. And guess what? It happened just like that. Just like that. Trust me. In six weeks, you'll be you'll be a beast. You'll be naturally enhanced. And then now we got this guy here named Mindwire. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you uh <laughs> everybody's favorite person on the internet the um the fake merc himself jason blaha has made a video and it got my attention and my inbox i woke up this morning i'm already getting messages from people just talking shit and talking about this and i'm like well hey if the people want my opinion because i guess they value his opinions at some point but they really want my opinion because i matter now <laughs> listen this kid Mindwar says he's been doing the Naturally Enhanced program for over a year. Now I've watched this video through and I had to see what Jason has to say and I honestly have to say, you know, if he's not talking about how he was a G.I. Joe and Desert Storm and all these things that this, that, and the third, you know, when it comes to this exposing shit, yeah, he made some valid points. And I want to say this. This kid has said, you know, his bench press was, what, what was it, 195 for five reps? And after a year, he um, hit 205 for two reps or something like that. You lost strength, buddy. Now, when I was a noob, and I know it's hard for a lot of you guys to believe that I was ever a noob, it's as if I was born God. <laughs> yeah, there was a point in time when I was on a lower level. Maybe not as low as the rest of you rookies and haters, but I was on a lower level than I am now. And... Um, my bench press, I believe it was 120 pounds on the machine bench. That's why I tested it out, you know, um, back in high school. By the end of the first year of high school, I went from 120 to 190 on that bench press. That's a year. That's a damn year. From 120 to 190. That's a lot of freaking weight. And I, I didn't have a naturally enhanced program. I didn't have a YouTuber in my ear telling me, you can do this and you should take this powder supplement too and you should, uh, if it fits your macros and all this other shit they've been telling people. I didn't have any of that. All I had was some weight in front of me and some people that, you know, examples that I see, you know, hey, you lift the fucking weight, you stay consistent, and over time, you will get the results. Granted, you are eating for your goal you get what i'm saying it takes time though it took a year now, there was noob gains 
And then of course I went from the 190 up to 230, then 230 up to like 260, then 260 to like 300 plus. It's, you get gains. And then over the years of being an adult, you know, you just kind of maintain what you got. You know, you're only going to get so strong. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to show up one day bench pressing 450 or bench pressing 225 for 38 reps like some of these so-called natural guys do. You just kind of get to a point where you hit your, your limit and you, you might gain an extra rep or two or a few pounds or so and you kind of you kind of stay there. There is a limit. I don't care how much time you put in. I don't care if you went... 30 years in the bench from scrub to beast your bench press is never gonna be 600 pounds or a thousand pounds being consistent there is a limit all right everyone has their limit now your limit is not my limit my limit is not someone else's who's natural's limit but when you got these guys showing up and they're doing this shit and they're getting that limit they're going beyond these plateaus and they're skinny as shit like a jay's like a david laid come on come on now that dude bench press shot up like a fucking, like a fucking typhoon. <laughs> and just like that. Just like that in a few months. And you got people here saying, oh, that was, that was natural. You know, he, hard work, dedication. It does just shut up. Shut your ass up. All right. Now, according to Blaha, somewhere in this video here in the seven minutes, he was talking about how Alpha Destiny's, um, his bench press didn't even go up. It didn't even go up from the four years ago in high school when he was training. You know what I'm saying? When he logged in, what he was hitting at 160 something ish pounds, he didn't even gain any strength, right? But he claimed this. He was. He's also been running his own naturally enhanced program, like Jason said. This is what Jason said now, from you know at least one to two years. Oh, you know, allegedly, uh, possibly, <laughs> according to Blah here. I'm just regurgitating what he said. Right, I've, I've never seen Alpha Destiny take anything now, you know, but the people, you, the people out there, you all have expressed to me quite vividly that you think there's something going on in the background there. Now, he hasn't even gained anything on his own program. I have yet to see him post someone that's legit, you know, because a lot of these fitness guys go out and they get other people's um, clients and they post their pictures on their shit, like, that's it, like, like, um... Um, what's his name? Um, Kelly Body. I mean, Kino Body. He's, I've, I've trained tens of thousands of clients. Dude, you've only been on YouTube for like, what? A, a, a fucking half a fart. How do, you, how do you have tens of thousands of clients? Like, you know, these dudes come on with that commercialized, super high quality videos. And then they try to push these outrageous numbers. You haven't trained tens of thousands of people. Shut up. You haven't even seen tens of thousands of people in your life. Okay? Be quiet. This is ridiculous claims. Like I said, you know, theatricality and deception are powerful tools, Alfred. Let me say it again. Theatricality and deception are powerful tools. <laughs> and they work. Because people want that glit, that glam, that right here, that right now. That's what they want. So when someone shows up willing to offer that to you and they have this enhanced physique due to alternative fuel sources, then people are going to believe it. Because everyone is reaching out for that, that glory that you just can't seem to achieve. So it's like me, you know what I'm saying? When I don't have haters talking shit, I have people all the time saying, how do we achieve I, I see your profile pic. How do you get like that? And I'm telling you right now, like today, I haven't been to the gym working out seriously in a minute because I was nursing my damn shoulder. And I know that when you when you do, when you jack your shit up like I jack my shit up, <laughs> you gotta take some time off. And I haven't lost all my fucking gains. I've, I've looked, I don't look like the fucking, the fucking profile pic. You know what I'm saying? But I still look damn good. Even though I put on a few pounds because I've been grubbing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Getting the nutrients in. And, you know, I've been smashing on some food. But I'm actually going on a small deficit right now. Some of the cuts are coming back. But once I get back on the weight and start pushing that iron and hitting them rows and doing them curls, the muscle's going to come right back. The muscle memory's going to start to kick in. And the work ethic and the time put in, that's just going to come right back. And then, you know, the, the gains and the strength, they get right back to where they were. And you slowly enhance and try to achieve that next level. And it takes time. It's not going to happen in two weeks. It's not going to be a person who just got off of a cut, you know, Alpha Destiny, <clears throat> allegedly, supposedly, and just got off of a cut. And then all of a sudden, two weeks later, they join a bodybuilding competition, I mean, a bitch press competition, and then just 
become the strongest person in Canada. Oh, I know, no, not unless I'm using alternative fuel sources. I know this video is going to trigger all the fanboys, but I didn't want to play just a part of Jason Blaha's video here, and then I'm going to chime in. All right, let me turn my audio back on. Give me one second. He didn't gain anything on his bench because a 275 for five reps is at least a 320 bench. His bench press didn't go up that entire time. And it doesn't matter, you guys are like, like, well, he bulked and cut. So you're telling me though that if this program actually worked and people are saying his hitting that bench number is indicative of it, why isn't anybody getting stronger running it, including the guy who wrote the program? Yeah, why isn't he getting stronger, including the guy who wrote the program? That's because it all stems from a base of fraudulence. All right? Now, yeah, you can get your bench press up because in the beginning of this video, I explained that, hey, my bench press skyrocketed. But it took time. It took compound movements. It took accessory movements. I was hitting bench press like a motherfucker, right? And then I'm also doing a shitload of push-ups like a motherfucker because uh you have to and then i'm doing accessory tricep extensions like a motherfucker and then i also had a bench at the house i'm giving you guys my formula right here i had one of those really really cheaply made benches from that one um department store sears you know they have little weight sets in there and this one bench press had a, a chest fly on it you get the little weights and you stick them on the side and you can lay back just like a bench but you're doing a chest fly and i will pump out so many fucking chest flies on that thing i will go above and beyond the amount of reps that you should do and that's how you get the fucking muscle. That's how you get that extra oomph right there. That's how you get that power, that muscle gains to come on. It still takes time, but you kind of exceed the level. There's levels to it. You can go at level five, and over time, you're going to get this much. You go at level six, and level seven, level eight. You put in that more grind each workout, but and you get more out of it, but it still takes time. You're not going to get that shit, oh, was going to shorten down the length of time that it happens. No, that length over time, it's still going to say a year, year and a half, two years. But in that year, year and a half, two years, the harder those workouts are, the more you put into each workout, the more reps and sets you put in, barring you know you do it in a safe manner, determines what you're gonna look like at the end of that two years. You got one guy that's pussyfooting it for two years, he's gonna he may get something if he stays consistently hitting it and pussyfooting it. But the guy who goes in and he grinds hard like a fucking machine, of course he's gonna have more. That's why I have more. That's why right now that I haven't even hit the bench press in so long, I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, God damn. You know, I didn't really lost a lot. I still look fucking beast. Not exactly the same, but God damn. I know that if once I get back on this heavy weight, holy shit, going to blow right back up. You know what I'm saying? But the reason that this guy's programs don't work is because they're written is remedial shit. Like I said, I've never used anyone's program to get anything I've achieved. Your little mediocre four sets. Listen, I was hitting fucking push-ups every night, damn near, except for the weekends. Actually, a lot on the weekends, too, because <laughs> I didn't have the concept of rest back then. Listen, I have a brother who was, you know, incarcerated, and he went to prison. He was a twig. He got out of prison. He was a fucking monster. And I said, how did you go from what I seen you last time to, you know, all these goddamn years later, damn over a decade? It took a long fucking time. But how do you go from that to that? Because you would swear this motherfucker was on steroids. If he just walked in the room right now, looking the way he looked when I saw him when he got out, first thing you would say is, damn, he's on fucking gear. You know what I'm saying? Because he was fucking big as shit. And he was a real deal motherfucker. And he said, hey, you know, mother, because, you know, he knew I was in the working out. He said, man, I see you got your little swole on. You better not be fucking with no steroids. You, ain't, you don't need no motherfucking steroids. You don't need no motherfucking powders. That's how I was talking like, oh, man, in the can, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't need all them goddamn powders and potions and bullshit. Motherfucker, hit a thousand push-ups a night. Get you some water bags. Hit them motherfuckers every fucking day. All fucking day. You fucking put the effort in. You put the hours into it, and your shit's going to blow up. Shit, I had a cousin who went in. He was about 6'3". I would have to say he was probably about... 220, I don't know, 215, wasn't too skinny, wasn't too, you know, overly big, just regular, normal, athletic guy, he got out after about a year and a half, 
he looked like a fucking brick wall. He looked like Debo. Just about a year. You know how much fucking muscle he put on? Eating prison food? Hitting fucking thousands of push-ups a day? That's how you hit that, ex- that, that next level. That's how after a year, you're either going to look decently muscular, or you're going to look overly fucking muscular like a fucking beast. You know what I'm saying? It's levels to this shit. And see, when you got real dudes out there that's doing this shit like me, that's that makes it easier for the frauds to slide in with their their amazing program. My conjugate visit training, linear progressive training, progressive overloading program. My um, my what do you call them? Different fucking lifts. My uh, linear periodization. Uh, all this fucking fraudulent ass shit to sound scientific. When all you got to do is get on some fucking weights and lift these motherfuckers all day. Lift it like your life depends on it. You stay consistent. You take your days off. You get your rest. You eat your fucking meat. You eat your vegetables. And you're going to put on the muscle. All right? It's that simple. But yes, yeah, all I want to say about that, you guys, you know, don't be caught, you know, up in this whole fraudulent game that's going on on the internet. I make these videos for a reason. Because at the end of the day, I am a trainer. I am an athlete. I am an elite human specimen beast. And I just want to see other people achieve what they can achieve naturally without taking all these fucking needles and bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because the grind is what it's all about. It's not about why oh, I'm so fucking buff. It's the grind, bro. Like playing Pokemon. It's fun going in the field and just beating up on fucking enemies all day long until you fucking grow your Pokemon. Or you could be that one bitch ass dude who put the code in and now he got every Pokemon at level 99 like a sucker. And he claims he's so fucking good at Pokemon, but you cheated. Your garbage. That's what this is. They're putting in the code. They're injecting the code. <laughs> and they're manipulating the game. And that's really no fun at the end of it. Because at the end of this game, you die. We've seen uh, Dallas McCarver, Rich Piana. At the end of this game here, the fraudulence game, the and the, the gear game, at the end of that game, there's only one reward. And it's six feet under some dirt in a box. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I want to say, you guys. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym. Do work. Muscle up.